Hello, my name is Caroline, and thanks for joining me for another video here on my channel. Today, I'm featuring something called Sub Zero with the Raspberry Pi Zero W with a USB dongle. What does that look like? That looks like this right here. So this is what the Raspberry Pi Zero W looked like to begin with. And then I purchased from Amazon, and I'll link to it below, this dongle. It attaches right to my Raspberry Pi. So now this is what my Raspberry Pi looks like with the USB dongle attached to it. I did not purchase the one that required soldering. I purchased one that just had uh, four screws. There's a contact and it touches the contact and that's how it works with the USB dongles. Let me preface this video by saying this is not the most useful video I've ever made. It might be useful to you and I hope it is, which is why I'm making it today. I made this project because I've always wanted to do a Raspberry Pi Zero W with a USB dongle project. That was basically it for me. And I saw this tutorial on hackster.io for Sub-Zero and I am going to show you that today. Let's get started. To get started, I am at hackster.io. I will link to this specific project below. It's called Sub Zero, a simple network attached storage device. Essentially, this project allows you to share documents while everybody is on the same network, which will be a network that is produced by this Raspberry Pi Zero W with the dongle, and then share documents, essentially. I think it's kind of a niche situation in which you might need this. Uh, let's say you're in a situation where you have really bad Wi-Fi and you can't upload to Dropbox or upload to the cloud and then download it. Let's say you're in a situation where you don't want to save everything on a USB flash drive and then share it amongst a bunch of computers. You could just upload it once to this and then everybody would have access to that document. I'm going to show you how it works now. And essentially all I have to do is plug in the USB into my computer and it is going to start emitting a new SSID, a new Wi-Fi network, and it's going to be called Sub-Zero. And this is what it looks like. It's, it says Sub-Zero. I click on Sub-Zero. I'm going to join that network. And then uh, there's a password. Let's see what the password is. I think I still have it on the default password. Default password is Raspberry. And then you are going to browse to this IP address. I'm going to open link in a new tab. Let's see if I can get it on there. Yes, and I am in. And these are the files I've already uploaded to my sub zero. And if I click on a picture, uh, here it is. And now you can see the file that I've uploaded. So I believe that the way this works is that I'm actually uploading to the micro SD card on my Raspberry Pi Zero W and then other computers will have access to it. If you have another computer that wants access to these files, they would follow the same process. They would select sub zero, type in the password Raspberry. Of course you should change it. And then they would navigate to 192.168.1.1 and then they would be able to get to these files. And essentially that's what this project does. So I'm assuming that this would be when you have a really bad network connection and you want to upload really large files. I'm starting out on the Sub-Zero Hackster.io project page and it gives me all of the items I need for this project. I need my computer, I need my dongle, I need my Raspberry Pi Zero W, and I need my 32 gig micro SD card. I've got that right here. I'm gonna insert it into this sleeve and that's how I get it into my computer. So I'm inserting it into my computer here. Now I need to get the image that I wanna load onto my micro SD card to put in my Raspberry Pi Zero W with the dongle and I am going to scroll down and I'm going to download this file. It's subzero.tar.bz2 image and I'm gonna save that file. I remember it as etcher.io. It's now bolina.io forward slash etcher and you wanna download that application locally on your computer and install it. I've done this multiple times on my channel before, so obviously I already have the Etcher program. I'm going to my applications page and I'm finding this Bellina Etcher program. I am going to fire that up. I'm going to Finder to go to Downloads, Subtar Zero. I'm gonna double click that and I'm going to expand it. And we're back. It took a little while for me to expand the image, unzip the image file that I downloaded, but here it is. It's a subzero.img and I'm going to my etcher file. I'm going to select my image and I'm going to select subzero.img. I'm going to hit open. 
then I'm going to make sure that I've chosen my micro SD card continue. I'm going to hit flash, type in my password, of course, and we're going to flash the micro SD card with the Sub-Zero image. And I'll be right back. And we are now done with our flashing of our micro SD card for our Sub-Zero project here. It says flash complete. I'm going to close that out and I'm going to now remove my micro SD card from my computer, taking it out of the little sleeve and inserting it into my Raspberry Pi Zero W. And let's see where we are on this tutorial. Let's get this up and going. I'm gonna plug this into my computer. Now I've got this add-on board. I've got it plugged into my computer and I see the little light flashing a little bit. The next step is we need to look for a Wi-Fi network called Sub-Zero. Let's see if there is one here as it loads up. I've been calling it a dongle, but I see on here it's called a stem. So this little USB thing is called a stem. <sighs> I apologize that that was incorrect earlier. I will link to it below on the description so you can purchase one if you need one. And now I'm looking through the available Wi-Fi networks and I see there is a Sub-Zero available. I'm going to click on Sub-Zero and let's see if I can get on that network. I am on the network Sub-Zero and then I'm going to browse to 192.168.1.1 and let's see if I can find it. Yes, and here it is. And now all I have to do is hit browse and I can take a file hit open, hit the upload button, and now I'm uploading it onto my Raspberry Pi Zero W and it is now available from other devices. I'm at another computer and I have gone to 192.168.1.1. I am on Sub-Zero. I'm going to Advanced. Let's see if this comes up. I'm gonna proceed. It says unsafe, but I know that it is me talking to myself. And sure enough, here is the PowerPoint presentation that I uploaded. I click on it and I'm downloading the PowerPoint presentation from my USB stem in the other room. And that's how it works. Essentially, it's creating a Wi-Fi network where you can share files within that same network. And that is it for the Sub-Zero Raspberry Pi with the USB stem sharing files within a local network when internet is not available or you have extremely slow internet and you don't want to use a flash drive. I found this project interesting because I've always wanted to do a STEM project and uh, now I have. Personally, I don't think I'll be using this going forward unless I'm in a very special situation, but it was fun to do this project. It was really easy. It worked right out of the box and there are a few things if I'll link to the project below where you can make a few changes to this project. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye now.